Hello and welcome. I'm Wayne and this is Let's Start Cooking. And today we're gonna to do Chinese style chicken and broccoli. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna slice our chicken. And what we wanna do is we wanna slice this chicken against the grain and we wanna slice it at an angle because we wanna shorten the fibers in the chicken. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice it nice and thin and we're just gonna slice it right down on an angle. And I'm using about, about 11 ounces to a pound. You can use more. I'll show you how to make the sauce. And then what we're gonna do is, if you need more sauce, you can always make more. And we're just gonna slice it like this on an angle. And what we're trying to do is, we're just gonna shorten these fibers, that's all. And we're gonna slice all this up. We'll get this all sliced up and then we'll make our marinade for this chicken. If you have a, a nice size chicken breast, you can always cut it in half. We don't want to go more than about two inches by two inches because we want to be able to have nice bite-sized pieces. So just cut it right down the center. And once we lay it open, we're going to do the same thing and just fillet it right down. And we're going to make sure we're nice and thin. Once we get all our chicken sliced up the way we want it, what we're going to do is we're going to make our marinade. And all we're going to do is we're going to take one egg white and if you do need more sauce, you can always make more of this. This is just for the servings that we're making. If you notice that you're a little bit light on the sauce, you can always make more of this. And we're gonna take our water, and I will have a list of all the ingredients as usual in the description. We're gonna take soy sauce, and we're gonna take cornstarch. And we're just gonna put all that in. We're gonna mix this together. once we get all this mixed together, we're just gonna put our chicken in here. We're just gonna take our chicken and we're gonna put it right in our bowl. And we're just gonna make sure we mix this all together and make sure we get all the chicken covered. And we wanna make sure we cover all this. And then once we get this all covered, we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. And we're gonna let this, the cornstarch and everything else that's in here is gonna help marinate and soften this chicken up. It's gonna tenderize this chicken real nicely for us. And this is all we're gonna do. We're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. While we're waiting for our chicken, I ask that you like, subscribe, and share us with your friends. If you have a recipe that you'd like us to try, just leave it in the comments and let us know. While we're waiting for our pan to heat up, we're gonna mix our sauce. And all we're gonna do is gonna take all our ingredients, which are gonna dump them in a bowl, and we're gonna mix them all together, and we're gonna get them ready. So when we get ready to add them to the chicken. So we're just gonna take our chicken stock, soy sauce, take our ginger, we're going to take our pepper, our garlic, we're going to take our brown sugar, we're going to take our cornstarch, and we're going to take our oyster sauce. We're just going to add this all together. And we're just going to mix this up and we're just going to get this ready so when our chicken is done and we add our broccoli and we add everything together, this will be ready to go. We're just going to set this aside. Okay. Our pan is nice and hot. We're just going to add a little bit of oil. And you might have to do this. You might have to do this in two or three times. You might not be able to fit all the chicken in one, one shot. And our chicken's been sitting for about 20 minutes and we're just gonna take it piece by piece and we're gonna gently lay it in our oil. And again, we'll try not to get these to touch. And the same as when we made stuff before, if anything sticks to the bottom of that pan, you don't want to get rid of it. Because that's going to add flavor when we add everything together. So we're just going to lay these in here. And we just we want to brown them on one side, and then we're going to flip them over. Once we have our chicken cooked up, and our pan is nice and hot, we're just going to take the sauce that we made, and we're just going to put it right in the pan.
We're gonna add our chicken right back into the sauce. We're gonna add our broccoli. Now with the broccoli, you can either use, if you want, you can use fresh broccoli and steam it. You can use the steaming bag broccoli. It doesn't matter what one you prefer to use. You can use whatever you want. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna heat everything back up together. And we're gonna get our rice ready. We're just gonna take it. And we're just gonna put it right on top of our rice. And again, you can add carrots to this if, if you prefer to have a little bit of carrots with it. But that's all you have to do. See if I can get a piece of everything here without burning my lips like I did the last time. That is better than any takeout you ever get from a restaurant. And we will see you again on Sunday.